yes, I got the same clothes on from yesterday. No, no motherfucker would have known if I ain't say nothing. I'm just cut like that. I'm transparent, and that's what it is. I'm sitting here having a session with myself. I'm sitting here having, because I got triggered. Oh, Lord, I'm so good. I'm so grateful that I can look at triggers not from a victim's perspective. But as a self-mastery one, as a student of one. And let me tell y'all what I got triggered for. And I I know I'm probably going to put this on, uh, I'm going to put this on, uh, YouTube. I know I am. I'm finding healing in these conversations. I'm finding healing in these conversations with myself when I want to pick up a phone and reach out and call somebody like I used to and say, girl, guess what happened to me today? Can you believe this happened? Instead, I pick this motherfucking camera up or at first it'll start with me sitting there thinking with myself. And then I'll be like, this is a good time to use to just talk to yourself and document it. You feel me? It's, it's, it's therapeutic for you. And then you can look back at it and see that it all made sense when you just let it flow out. Hey. Anyway, I got triggered from somebody correcting me on the internet today. And, um, I don't feel like it was the, it was the... The trigger wasn't in me being able to admit that I made a mistake. The trigger was in the delivery of how they said it, it was very condescending, and I felt it immediately, right, and <clears throat> in the past, ooh, that would fuck my whole day up, I'm not ashamed to admit, if I encountered a troll, I would make a, not, and I'm not even saying they being a troll, they just be having a human experience and here to teach me, that's what they here to do, you feel me, but I'm just ex expressing Woo, how I can see the growth in myself. I would make a whole post about a troll. Trying to get somebody else to validate that that troll had me fucked up type of shit. You feel me? Woo, my heart is doing a twirly dance right now. My heart is doing a twirly dance because just being able to see how far you fucking come. Just really being able to not only see it, but be that shit, right? So, what did I reply back? And that's another thing. My replies to people used to be real offense. As soon as I feel like somebody commented something in my platform. In my platform. You feel me? It's not mine. It's there for me to fucking experience and enjoy. Okay. I don't want to get off topic though. And I, I replied back because I'm definitely in the space of speaking up for myself. I, I'm not letting nothing slide if I feel like, even if I felt triggered. I feel like when we do have those kind of encounters with each other, that is where we are supposed to. That is where it is purposed for us to express how we feel. Even if people on the outside want to consider our expression right or wrong or whatever they think it is. Oh, the fuck well. We're here to fucking express that. How we choose to express it, it's up to us. Yeah, but I commented back with whatever I said. You know. And I ain't gonna stunt. I blocked them. Because I ain't about to go back and forth. And I know, although I'm learning, I'm, I'm fucking mastering this shit. I still know how to not put. If I know it's a bunch of bullshit that's about to pop off. Or if I know something is going to make me feel in a way that I don't want to experience. I don't want it part of my experience. I feel like most of the time I have no problem with just acting like it don't exist. I'm going to say most of the time. And the small shit that I would get hung up on is crazy because I'm free from that now. I'm free. Ooh, thank you for expressing yourself. Thank you for letting these words come out. Thank you for not trying to make it make sense. But, so 
So that happened or whatever, and that got me thinking with myself because I'm being aware of what's going on in my body and how I'm feeling and, and the tingly sensations and shit. And I'm like, I'm able to recognize this person as being this way is because I'm that way too. I'm that way too. You feel me? But what it came to taught me is that I, what it came to show me, reveal to me, reflect to me is that I got control over that part of me now. I know how to express myself still. I know how to express myself without <clears throat> being offended. I know how to express myself in a way to take accountability for all my fucking authenticity and who I am. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Feel like I'm getting away from what I was trying to say with the trigger was because it had me sitting here thinking all kind of shit about myself recognizing all kind of lessons that I fucking learned that was so fucking hard that I had nobody to teach me that I had nobody to move through them with but I'm here <laughs> I'm here though you feel me hey Self, you a motherfucker out here. You a motherfucker out here, for real. Don't never sleep on yourself. Hey. So I started sitting here thinking of how I recognize my reflection in this shit that triggered me, right? Because I'm feeling this person was being condescending towards me. It's because I carry that same trait. I do. I have that behavior sometimes. And... I feel like it turned out for a teachable moment from where I came for speaking up for myself, for both of us. But then it had me sitting here embracing my shadow. Because that's the aspect, that's one of the aspects of me I felt so ashamed of. I felt like it wasn't part of me. I felt like it made me bad. But now I can own that shit. I can own that shit, man. I can own all of me. I can embrace all of me. That's what I wanted to share. You feel me? So, everything about us makes us whole. Everything about us makes us whole. And I feel like when we just finally... I sat here got to thinking so hard. Like, I don't... This is my life. I am being. If my experience don't align with somebody else's, that's okay. If, 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 if our shit is clashing... It's okay to express myself. It's okay. It's purposed. And I'm not going to feel bad about that shit. I'm not going to feel bad about how it came out. I'm not going to feel bad. I am proud of myself for the way I show up. And I understand the way I show up is not going to feel right to everybody. And that's okay because that's how we learn. Are you going to open your book? Or are you going to look in your mirror? That's what I'm on. On everything. He got me sitting here thinking like, I'm not comparing my being. I, I don't have to catch up to anything. I don't have to catch up to no status in life. I don't have to catch up to no paper piece of money. I don't have to catch up with friendships and relationships or nothing. Because everything I am right now, right here, is whole and complete. Am I progressing? Hell to the year. Like, I'm just sitting here telling y'all how I used to motherfucking make all capital paragraph posts about people trolling my posts, about people disagreeing with me on my post, on, on a fucking not even mine. That shit's not mine. I separate myself from anything I felt like I'm attached to subconsciously and I'm not aware of. I let go of that thought pattern. That is not who I am. I am whole. I am whole. There's nowhere I need to be. Nobody I need to be linked up with. No, I'm right fucking here. And I accept me. 
for right here. I accept all that shit, all my shadow aspects that I used to make me feel like, that I used to allow myself to make me feel like I was being wrong or um, not where I'm supposed to be in life or um, doing in a lesser, no, I'm fucking abundant. I have everything. I have air coming out my lungs today. I have a new day to learn more about myself, love myself deeper, deeper than anybody else could ever make me feel. And nobody can't make me feel like that. I make myself like that. And we share love with each other. Because nobody's lack of love or nobody's overabundance of love can take away from the love I have for myself. And I know that. And I trust it now. You feel me? You feel me? And I'm proud of me for showing up. All the times I didn't want to show up for myself. I showed up. Ew. Okay, girl. Did that feel good? Yes. That feels good. Uh, I'm doing my hair. I'm not going to give you a sneak peek. Damn. Damn. I love you. As I look into the depths of my own fucking soul, I see you and I love you. Okay, deuces.